we set up a hidden camera experiment to see if this woman would stand up at the sound of this tone simply because everyone else is. You might be thinking you'd never go along with this. Or would you? After just three beeps, and without knowing why she's doing it, this woman is now conforming perfectly to the group. <laughs> but what happens if we take the group away? Elaine, please. Just look at her. <laughs> okay, now she's alone. The crowd is gone and nobody is watching her except our hidden cameras. What do you think she'll do? She's now conforming to the rules of the group without them even being there. I'm not surprised. Now watch what happens when they introduce another outsider who doesn't know how the rules of this waiting room work and they'll be out in just a couple minutes. Great, great. Thanks so much. I bet anything that he's going to start getting up. I get... Everybody was doing it, so I thought I was supposed to. Think she'll teach the new guy what to do? We kept the cameras rolling as more unsuspecting patients arrived. And slowly but surely, what began as a random rule for this woman has now become the social norm for everyone in this waiting room. And it's why even this rebel who wasn't standing for any of this nonsense, eventually joined the ranks. <laughs> and the only thing more shocking than seeing how easily conformity affects the way you act is that similar forces are subconsciously shaping the way you think right now. All right, you guys. Conformity shapes the way you react now why is this so important i need you to understand you see there i see this happens all the time right there's small youtubers out there they post you know videos and they probably have very good content but because they probably do not have a lot of subscribers and because there's probably not a lot of views a lot of people probably think to themselves ah oh, you know is it worth commenting on this video is it worth liking and sharing on this video right and what tends to happen is that, you know, even though that was a, it was a very good video, it never gets the eyes and the attraction that it actually deserves. And that's really sad because that is human nature, right? But you will have a big YouTuber that probably didn't even put as much effort as that small YouTuber. I'm not saying all. I'm just giving an example. But because he already had, he or she already has the subscriber base, and they already have, you know, um, the platform. Everybody's going to gravitate towards these individuals and they're going to comment on these individuals and they'll put the comments on these individuals. Now, what you have to understand, you guys, you see, this is all part of the programming. You see, if you have any, and this is not just for me, I'm actually hoping that you guys will understand the bigger message here. If there's a, if there's a message that you wish to stand for and support, it does not matter who is actually sending forth this message. Do your part and actually support by doing simple things like liking and subscribing and commenting down below. Because again, the bigger picture is that if this message can grow and be in front of the eyes of millions of people, more people can wake up 
and the issues such as the LGBT community and the LGBT crusade and agenda can be exposed. You see, this is why I'm totally elated to see that there is some actual justice being done. And again, I think you, the people, right, for playing your part and in exposing this wickedness. And I also think, like I've done before, those three women who actually had the courage to voice their concern because this is what they want you to do. They want you to stay mute. You see, we live in a society where majority of the people are already conforming right they are already conforming <laughs> to the lgbt community so now even though they probably know like like the rebel that you saw in that video even though he's like uh, you know i don't really want to get up but because everybody else is getting up ah uh, all right fine i don't want to seem like the i went out it's the same thing that happens if you do not voice your concern there's a whole bunch of people because they have already been programmed they are going to uh, just bow down to this movement and they're not going to say a damn thing. And here you are coming along and you're probably just like, man, I'm not here for all of this nonsense. Nah, I don't support this. But you don't want to be singled out. You don't want to be ostracized. So slowly and slowly, you know, you, you start biting the proverbial nails and you're just looking around. Oh, man, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be the, the odd one out. So maybe I need to bow down to this movement too. And that's how they get you. No, no, no. But the same works in reverse. If we have just one individual that says, you know what? No, nah, no, nah, I'm going to actually voice my concern and I'm going to write it down in the comments and show my disdain for this movement. And then another person sees that. Oh, you know, he did it. He or she did it. You know, let me comment down below, too. And the, another person sees it. You know what? Let me actually join this movement. And that's how we allow this to get exposed you see it needs to be a group collective the same way they are trying to program the collective listen to what i'm saying they are trying to program the collective in supporting this foul wicked disgraceful community is the same way we need to program the collective to fight against it i hope you guys receive the message if you like content like this please like Subscribe, comment down below. And with that being said, Nick over and out. The message sent. Jesus is king, y'all.